Good evening. The Deputy State Coroner has recommended sweeping changes to end the carnage on the southeastern freeway, including jail time for semi-trailer drivers who break road rules. After an inquiry into two deaths, he has also called for speed limits to be slashed for all drivers travelling the dangerous downtrack. Semi-trailer driver James Venning's very first descent down the southeastern freeway cost him his life. In January last year, his rig careered out of control at 145 kilometres per hour, narrowly missing cars and crashing into a wall. And in 2010, John Posnikidis was killed by another out-of-control semi as he stood at a bus stop alongside the freeway. The deaths prompting the deputy coroner to now recommend the freeway down track speed limit be cut from 60 to 40 kilometres kilometres per hour for heavy vehicles and from 90 to 80 for all other motorists. We're open-minded about a reduction at the speed limit. We're not ruling it out, uh, but the uh, modelling to date shows us we would potentially place other road users at greater risk rather than less risk. Anthony Chappell also wants tougher penalties for drivers who exceed the descent speed limit or fail to use low gears, including mandatory licence disqualification and even jail time. A compulsory supervised freeway descent before drivers are licensed and banning all licensed drivers from making their first descent alone, regardless of what state they're from. Whilst that's ideal and we would encourage it, and I think the government would, I, I suspect, but I don't know it's practical. The inquest into the two deaths heard similar stories. The drivers were inexperienced and using the wrong gear. The trucks had possible brake problems and the freeway's emergency arrest beds were ignored. John Posnikidis' family wasn't in court today, but in a statement urged the government to take the recommendations seriously. They're happy with these findings insofar as there's an emphasis on road safety and an emphasis on holding the drivers of heavy vehicles accountable for their decisions. An inquest is continuing into the freeway deaths of motorist Thomas Spees and Jacqueline Byrne, killed by another out-of-control truck last August. Kim Robertson joins us now, live from Glen Osmond. Kim, the Deputy Coroner has also called for safety measures along the freeway. That's right, Brenton. The coroner wants to force all truck drivers to stop at one point during the descent at a mandatory stop and go zone. Now, he's also recommending a third arrest bed to be put in place somewhere between the second arrest bed and the intersection of Portrush and Cross Road. Now, the government says that's something they're already looking at, but its engineers are facing significant challenges around space and also a safe design that isn't going to obstruct other road users, which could potentially be very unsafe at times of congestion like at peak hour. But the message from the coroner today is certainly that these issues need to be sorted through as soon as possible to prevent more tragedies on the freeway. Thank you, Kim.